Hello, welcome to this week's HMT Venture Tour by request. This week's request comes from Bernie, who wants to see somewhere in the building that I have absolutely no idea or knowledge about. That is why I've called across my good friend Kylie, who knows more than anyone about this place here. Hello, Kylie. Hi, Danny. Can you tell us where we are and what this is all about? Well, we're in what's known as the dome room or the follow spot room. Um, I'm a follow spot operator, which is uh, the big light that follows the actors around on yeah. stage. Uh, we're also known as domies, spotties. Uh, dome, domies because we used to operate a long time ago, uh, before my time, <laughs> up in the dome of the, of the roof. Uh, so of the theatre, so now we're at, we're still at the highest point of the theatre. Well, we're extremely high up now. When we're on a show, and I'm usually down in the stalls foyer, I usually see what looks like a whole army of, of domies going through the foyer on their way up here. How many people do you have working at any one time, and why do you all sort of travel together? Uh, the most uh, follow spot operators we have in here is generally four. Um, and sometimes we also have a board operator, but generally not when there's four operators as yeah. well, because it's quite a small space. Uh, but yeah, uh, we all travel up at the same time. We come up, we come up an hour before to check our follow spots, make sure everything's working, and then uh, we go back down, have a cup of tea if, if nothing's broken. Right. And then we come back up, just you know, the five minute call, uh, and come up to get checked, ready for the show, and make sure we're in this position for the stage manager. Fantastic. Now, just looking at the view, we're extremely high up here. You must get this question all the time. Are you afraid of heights? I'm luckily not afraid of heights because it is quite a view and sometimes if you're doing a stage dome which is above the uh, above the stage, above the audience, it's, it can be pretty scary. Uh, pretty scary. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, we don't really generally worry about heights. The biggest worry is actually sneezing because if you sneeze, the light might fall over the place. So that's more of a problem than heights. Excellent. Really. So for you, you're up here all the time. You do lots of things. You're on stage manager sometimes. You're up here most of the time. but. 80 shows in on a big long season, you're, you're doing follow spot for the 80th time. How do you keep yourself, you know, activated and engaged? Is, is it, do you go, go into autopilot or what's what's a way to keep yourself going through those times? Look, it's definitely a certain uh, attitude and uh, mental state to do follow spotting yeah. and watch the same show every single day. But you do learn to find that balance of tuning out bits where you're not as busy. Um, where you're not operating, you might have a song off, you know, yeah. as we say, uh, and other times you, but you can't ever switch off completely. You have to be able to go, oh, I hear that musical number, I better get ready, I'm, I've got a cue soon. So it's very important to keep switched on and uh, just try and find new ways to enjoy the show each day. Absolutely yeah, right. Definitely. Thank you so much, Kylie. You've given us a huge insight. This is only the second time I've ever been up here, and it's an incredible spot that we don't ever get to see, especially on the tours as well. Thank you so much to Bernie for your request, and we'll see you next time for more H&T Virtual Tour by request.